You see them everywhere, and you may have put some up yourself. I'm talking about illegal signs posted on businesses, in tre on trees, in parks, and you probably had no idea how many problems they cause. Now, two men in our community have made it their mission to pick them up, and you can help too. Safety first. Now I am official. These men are on official business. Just as the sun's rising. Our wives think we're crazy <laughs> going out at six o'clock in the morning every week. Jim Reed and Bill Staley hit the pavement along State Road 60 in Brandon. You want to get that one, Jim? Oh, hey. One after another. You got it? They're picking up what they call roadside spam. Free TVs, free money, we'll pay your rent, we'll give you groceries, we'll give you this, we'll give you that. He's talking about snipe signs. And now that you know about them, you'll see them everywhere. And these pesky signs are illegal in rights of way in Hillsborough County. A lot of people think that the right of way ends right here, but it actually goes probably all the way to the parking lot. Jim and Bill hate snipe signs so much. Oh yes. They became volunteer code enforcement officers. I talked to Jim and I said, would you like to do this? And he said, sure. So we became a team. Now Bill, he's a regular marauder. He sees them, he gets them. He can't keep up with me. I really can't. Anyone can pick up these signs. They're considered litter. Besides the fact that they're not visually appealing, they can be a safety hazard for county crews. They can end up in storm drains and some of them promote scams. It's not just snipe signs in rights of way that are the problem. Yeah. There's a whole list of prohibited signs in section seven of the county code. And because of limited manpower within the Hillsborough County Code Enforcement Office, and the fact that it's hard to enforce the law, yeah. Bill and Jim have become a huge asset. And they love it. That's how quick he walks all the time. In fact, Bill and Jim have been doing this together since 2011. They take their job very seriously, but the men do let some things slide. Don't remove lost pet signs either. But they pick up pretty much everything else, almost every weekend, for almost seven years. And it's paid off. Just take a look inside this trailer. It's filled with memories of two retired men doing what they love. We have collected 56,000 signs from Eastern Hillsborough County. That's on average about 150 a week. Add that to the 70,000 signs the county picked up last year, and well, you could say Hillsborough County has a snipe sign problem. And I said, Bill, are we beating a dead horse? You know, I said, last week we got 50, this week we got 200. But when they start to doubt themselves, they just hit the pavement again, picking up one sign after another. Another one bites the dust. Hoping one day the community learns a lesson. I'm Hillary Zala for 10 News. Aww. There are a lot of people right now putting the covers up going, um, yeah, guilty, because those yes. yard sale signs too are also. We've all done it. The yard sale signs, those are illegal on public property in the right of way. They're okay in your front yard, but here's the deal, Jim and Bill, they won't always pick up every yard sale sign or lost pet sign. They'll leave it there for a couple of weeks. If you don't come back and get it, they will have to take it away. But come back and get it because it's litter, guys. And Grant pointed out something so great just a little bit ago as we were watching this. We have such great people in our community that get involved and give back. You don't just have to wait for Public Works to come by and do it for you. Exactly. Anyone can pick up these signs. And in fact, if you want to volunteer for county code enforcement, I posted the link on our website with the details.